My name's John Hare, I'm a game designer, I've been designing games for donkey's years, uh, I've done things like Sensible Soccer, Cannon Fodder, Wizball in the past, and this is my first original game for about 17 years. I'm really excited about it, to have this opportunity, and the game's called Word Explorer. The concept behind Word Explorer is it's taking a crossword and turning it into something for the 21st century. It's an interactive crossword with pictures. The grids are kind of drawn over a map of a part of the world. They're like roads forking out across the map. So the way the game starts, you can start anywhere. You travel the world, literally with the crosswords, and whilst you're travelling, you're taking photographs, you're collecting photographs. You end up with a two and a half thousand page photo collection with all little facts, because we give you a little fact about each place. Animals, like a bobcat, or a, a skimmer, which is a bird which flies along the coast, or a rattlesnake, they really are very beautiful photographs. It's quite a fast word game. It's a very intuitive, easy to use system. If you finish it in a certain time, it gives you a bonus. If you get a certain number of words right in a, in a string, we call that a combo, it gives you a bonus. If you finish the whole level with no mistakes, we give you what we call a perfect bonus. And all these bonuses, by the way, are photographs. It's just additional photographs related to that region. Most crossword games, you type in the answer. In our game, you don't. You do, you've got the question for the, the clue, and the answer's there in an anagram. They're just switching the letters around. If you guess wrong, you can have a second guess a lot of the time anyway. It's very forgiving. You can play it in what we call easy or pro mode. So pro mode is against the clock, but you get bonus photos. We have easy mode, which gives you no time pressure at all. You can take all the time in the world. I think I can safely say we've made the biggest single player word game that's ever existed by a large, large factor. I mean, there are over 250 levels in the game, just under 2,500 photos. The vocabulary which constructs the crosswords is taken from a 23,000 word dictionary. And then on top of the single player game, we have a multiplayer league game that will just generate the same grid for the two people, and it's who can get the highest score within a time limit of three minutes. And what's nice is the single player, which is the bulk of the game, feeds into the multiplayer as well. And we've got little things like different music for each region. In Mexico, you've got Mexican music. In, in the West Coast, you've got something that sounds a bit like Pulp Fiction theme. East Coast states, you've got like some hip hop. You get a very strong sense of traveling around the world in your armchair. It's a brilliant traveling game. If you're in a car, on a plane, in a train, across a very, very wide range of age groups and across all the different formats. I'm really, really happy that it's been brought to life. Everybody that sees it loves the game. Microsoft really like it, Apple really like it, Nintendo really like it. And my vision for Word Explorer is much larger.